I know everything else is going to be in place. I know he's going to perform when he gets that opportunity. He has all the tools. I even told Adam the other day, I pulled him aside and I told him, I think I gave you a year to get ready. We had a session, I think our second session, I think I was wrong. I said, you're ready now. What do they use it for, for throwing? Throw it at a wall and it'll come back to you. He calls yeah. it the fatherless because if you don't have a dad, you can just throw it at the wall. Oh. The last video y'all saw, I didn't really warm up. And since then, I've been taking it more seriously. They talked about developing a routine. So that's been a big emphasis. Figuring out that stretching routine, that warm-up routine is going to make game days feel like practice days. It all feels the same. Every kick's the same. That's kind of what we're dialed in on right now. I'm Alex Zendejas. i um, been coaching over 20 years. My family's, uh, we're... We're kickers. The main part is um, being able to hand it over to the young generation, give them a little bit of knowledge of what we know, and um, coach them up from there. It's just a nice day out here in Arizona. I know I mic up every day. It's different when I got a camera following me. It's like I'm at practice for real, like I'm on a NFL network. We just warming up. All these guys over there are like me last time. I don't think any of them really warmed up. They just started booting. Me, I need a good 30 minutes now. It's definitely a big difference warming up before you kick. The last video y'all saw with the track man stuff, y'all saw the numbers right there with NFL guys, but I didn't really warm up beforehand. When I was a little bit tight, y'all saw I was missing kicks off to the right. My hip was tight, so I'm kind of just leaving my leg outside when in reality, I need to just kick my ball. And that's what coach and I have been working on. So hopefully y'all get to see that today we have a good day. Now hopefully we gonna have a good day. So what's up coach? You only told Adam to warm up. Nobody else warmed up. Some of these kids been around me for a long time. So they already know the process. As you can see, Adam, you know, he's already, look, he hasn't even kicked one ball. That's a good thing. That means he's doing the right things now. We got him to get a 15, 20 minute warm up, a good warm up before we get that kicking going. Fresh out of the bag. Uh -huh. First time wearing it. Where'd you get this shirt out, sir? Jimmer. Jimmer outfits, code Bakken. We changed my one steps up a little bit. So instead of just taking a diagonal step and dragging it back a little bit, like Shane was talking about, we changed all of my steps to actually be natural steps. So these one steps, I'm going two back, two over, just so we stay consistent. That's the main goal. Hey, consistency is our main goal, so I had to get rid of the diagonal step. Even on regular field goals, now I'm going back three and going over two. I was good at the diagonal steps, but this is gonna keep us more consistent in the long run. And we're just working on every kick is the same middle hash right it's the same kick every time you just change where your steps are at and that's kind of where i've been missing taking the diagonal steps i was good with the diagonal steps but we're gonna be better being more accurate feeling solid today huh those are feeling solid today look nice and controlled right there let's stay controlled the whole day and then we let the leg do the work okay yep. something coach always says is stay controlled and let my leg do the work this is why i like working with coaches because he's not trying to change a lot he's just trying to let me be me and let my leg do the work take your time move around maybe inside 57 and then once you're ready to go then we'll just we'll probably do a 10 field goal a little choppy a little choppy on that one for him, this is early outs right now. He's gonna get himself and then we'll probably shoot maybe 10 live field goals and uh, kind of gain field goals and mentally, whether we hold for him or we snap hold or sticks at the end of the day, it's, you know, it is different. So throw him out of his little comfort zone or try to throw him out of his comfort zone. You know, I posted a couple of days ago something on Adam. I said, you know, week one, meaning that this is getting started. And when I say this is getting started, I'm, He's making so many strides. It's been a blessing to be able to see how explosive and how much potential he has and how ready he is already. The first five field goals, we'll jog in, jog out. First five field goals, guys. The snapper and Alex is gonna be holding. You guys can stay on the field. Let's go. 32, middle. Good. It's been like a year and a half since live holds. Pretty good though. Obviously, we're kind of just going off of me right now. Not really working timing, like he said, but we're just gonna work on being money. That's all we gotta do. Just be me. That's something he always says. Just be you and kick your ball. That's what we're gonna do. Just be me. Every ball's the same. Field goal. Hey, everything's going great so far, but then I get this one snap. I look down and there they are. Laces. You good. That's on me, I gotta get it up still. That was a great snap, but all late. Hey, I still gotta put it through, that one's on me. That one's on me. Them laces, I don't know what it is about it, it just throws everything off. Kicking's a big mental game. The second you see this, instead of this, when I'm looking to kick right here, I gotta kick right here, it just throws you off a little bit. I still gotta lock in, I gotta put that through. That's on me, ball got down, I gotta put it through. It's like a receiver, ball hits your hands, you gotta catch it. No matter if it's here, I gotta put the kick through. I know it's hot in that helmet. Arizona ain't no joke, it's like 30 degrees in Montana right now. They're like, yeah, it's a great day. Meanwhile, it's 80 degrees out here. I'd rather have it be 80 than 30, I'll tell you that. It's like being mic'd up in the game for real. He'll go. Good snap, good hold, good kick.
I just gotta hit my ball, just like I was saying earlier. Hit my ball every time. Just gotta be consistent with it. Who are we working on? That's why we out here today. We're getting better. I'd rather have the misses now, the miss hits now, than a game. We're working on control with him. He has all the power, has the height, has all the tools, and everything else is just staying controlled, hitting his best ball every single time. Because if he can hit his best ball, it's he's money. If we can get that mindset, that's all we're working on with him, is just getting him to understand that he can do this at the next level. And I think that's the most important part, not only for Adam, but for a lot of kickers that are trying to make it in the NFL. We're not gonna change him we're gonna help him and we're gonna put him in a position where he's gonna be a hundred percent confident ah, that's just on my time i get too antsy in live snap hold that kick right there i just went a little early i'm kicking with a high school long snapper right now and i'm going off my normal lap time i just got to be patient wait for the ball to get down and kick a good ball we're going to be good the rest of the day that's the part right now is that we don't really want you to focus on that because this isn't your operation no, not at all. time and stuff we're just throwing them out there to give you a it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. It, it can be a bad thing for a lot of people, but for you, it's, it's a good thing. It's just something to be aware of that once you get, we get a snapper hold or you're, wherever you're at, you get your timing down right, we're okay. good. And we'll have the right guys that have to come out here and get that timer. But right now is not that time. Right now is just, he's going to do his job. Holder is going to do his job and you're going to be patient and do your job. For sure. That's it. It's normal for a kicker to, you know, want to go with the timing and everything, but it's, that's not why we throw a snapper holder right now, especially. That's why it's so important for when they're in season or in practice, they're always getting reps in with their snapper and their holder. That way they get the timing down right. That's what it is. It's a, it's a little, it's a team. A team that kind of gets the work in on the sideline. So you're working, you're constantly working on that timing, timing, timing. It's expected to throw these guys off right now because, you know, we're just throwing in a kid that hasn't snapped in a while, but he's doing a great job doing it. It's just a kicker, a little antsy right now. Let's get some balls. Make sure you have five. We're going to go five the opposite way. That's what we needed. Bounce back. Most important kicks, the next one. Feeling pretty good. He switched up the order on me. I was last in the rotation. That one, he had me switch to first. Got to play mental games. Sometimes you might get a pick on defense. You got to run out and just kick the field goal. You're not ready. I didn't get to do my routine on the sideline. Had to go in, hit a kick. 42 right. There we go, Adam. That's my kick, coach. That's it. That's the kick. You picked a number on purpose. I know I do. Keep it between me and you, though. You got to be done with that number. That's a 100% right there now y'all don't know the significance of 42 right i miss it as a game winner in high school so coach knows that and he's had me kick it a few times while i'm out here and i've actually missed him we always end the day on it gotten better at it i knew he picked a number on purpose he said don't tell anybody else but that number was intended bang right down the middle probably best kick of the day adam you're up let's go calvin there we go let's go adam Oh, ball's going right down the pipe, man. That was a good ball. I like that ball. One thing Shane said, I know y'all remember Shane. We worked with him two weeks ago and last week. Sebastian Janikowski was close on field goals. He thought, I'm going to put a hole in this net. You know, sometimes you kick short footballs and you try and just chip it over. You give only the effort you need to. But you need to kick every ball the same. So try and put that hole in the net is what I'm thinking. That ball was money. Field goal. That's it. Hole in the net. You'd be shocked, man. Those those field goals right there, man, they're, you will kick them. People yeah. say, I'll never kick a ball from there. I says, yes, you will, man. The coach does what he's supposed to do, man. That ball's on the damn one yard line or two yard line and he and he knows he has 100% on this kicker. He's gonna let you kick it and win the game. Why wouldn't he? 100%. Uh, I just hung it again. Just keep hanging that thing. Yeah. I've been trying to shorten my jab so I don't end up in front of it like I was on Saturday. So what were you doing today when we were hitting our best balls? Were you shortening up your jab or were you just being you? A little bit of both. A little bit of both? You were shortening like I, it? I, not like shortening. I feel like I was extending it a little bit more on Saturday because okay. I was kind of in like that go mode that we kind of talked about. So you're, but, I think if you're going to shorten up your jab, you're a little bit more, you're in control. I think when you, your jab's a little bit, you're too aggressive. When we're too aggressive, you're going to have to come to that ball and wait for it and then punch. And then that's what we get at the very end. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be aggressive. We just need to be controlled. Cool. That way we hit our best ball. Okay. That's cool. that's what we're working on. That right there doesn't, that's nothing to me. I don't care about that. My main thing is how consistent can we be with our tempo? Because we know when we figure out that, when we figure out that tempo, that's going to be the key. Right. It's going to be tempo contact and then everything else will be take care of itself. When you see these things happen, don't start jumping and say, okay, I missed that. I need to do something. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. We're sticking to the plan. Okay. Cool. Let's get better. Hey, biggest takeaways from today are tempo and control. That's what's going to take us to that next level. We're going to keep working on it. We're going to keep getting better. Hopefully y'all can see an improvement from the last video to this video and just how much better we got just in the last week. To me, the kicks already look a lot better and the ball just sounds so much better coming off my foot. There 
go. Stay controlled, Adam. Stay controlled, man. Trust me, man. Stay controlled, man. You're gonna swing that leg, man. If you stay controlled, you're gonna see that ball better and you're gonna focus more on that contact. And then I don't want you to lose control and lose sight of that ball. So just stay controlled and then let that leg go, man. Cause I know you're not, I'm not asking you to hold that leg back. So we gotta make sure, Adam, we're not coming down, down at that ball and then trying to come up because that's gonna allow us to crunch. Yeah. All our force is going to that ground and then we're trying to go through. No, we got to be nice and tall and let that leg do what it does. Let's be eight yards deep in the end zone. Job, Adam. The more thinking, no. The less thinking, yes. Yeah. Less thinking, let doing. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go, less thinking. You got that, look at the projection you have, the height, the size, the power you got everything right there now we just got to be okay with doing the things in a routine where they're, com where they're constantly constantly the same the same the same man if we're going into week two when's the last time you were like literally went kicking for two weeks where you got the only thing that can be on your mind was i'm just gonna go have a good kicking day today good practice which nothing else just kicking when's the last time you did that year and a half long time yeah. And you're doing a great job doing it right now. So you just gotta understand that's the part that has to get better. You've already kicked with some NFL guys and some people have been trying out, not today, but other days. And you've seen what you, <laughs> you already seen the numbers you put up. So yeah. that's already the path, but now how are we gonna get there? Consistent, consistent. And I'm not talking 100%. I don't believe in that, okay? I believe there's those misses and there's those bad hits. Whoever says they don't miss hit and they don't, no, they, they do, everybody does. Other than that, it is what we do. We, we like to do this, and that's why we do it. So, right. just like you, right? It's the way. That's the way it is. It's got to apply, and you got to be patient. Man. Two words: locked in. That's what it is. He's locked in, and there's no doubt that he can't do this. But I think most kickers and stuff is how they come, how they prepare, but how they show up to practice. Because at the end of the day, what I try to tell Adam: this is practice. This is that we need to be able to switch one thing off and switch the other thing on and make this a reality. So the goal is him getting a phone call. 